friends welcome to my next video before you move to the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that when i post my next video you will get the immediate notification come let's go to the video dear friends paraphrasing is the key practice to avoid plagiarism if you know how to paraphrase the research paper effectively definitely you will not get into the problem of plagiarism come this video will tell you clearly about how to paraphrase effectively to get more research related videos please uh, subscribe my youtube channel professor dr rajesh shekharin and click the bell icon so that when i post my next video you will get the immediate notification and these are the videos you can take from my channel all research related videos and further you can share to your friends if you like this video and you can comment also this video will include a paraphrasing strategies and steps how to how to and how not to paraphrase with uh, perfect examples the basics of paraphrasing begin with proper note taking habit if a researcher doesn't take notes properly definitely he will not be able to paraphrase anything because the the requirement to paraphrase the mess the matter will come from the summary no that is a that summary will uh, come emerge from the proper note taking so you have to take notes effectively though i have told you already simply we'll go through just you have you could have highlighted commented underlined and write a brief summary about the, the paper which you have read all these things will definitely help you in one point to paraphrase effectively because so that you will not lose the main main ideas the four hours of paraphrasing you can consider this is the uh, center attraction of the paraphrasing this is the central uh, uh, strategy you can uh, you have to easily remember you can easily remember four hours that is first hour is reword always in the paraphrasing try to reword the original idea with the synonyms and the other words number one number two rearrange the uh, try to rearrange the given structure that is order of the sentence into a uh, new new structure probably from a to b to b to a in, in the, that way without disturbing the meaning you have to rearrange it is not like simply rearranging the sentence if it disturbs the meaning then there is no point in doing the paraphrasing third r is realize you have to realize that some information cannot be changed the, for example names titles and dates etc even if you paraphrase that should remain as it as they are there won't be any changes and fourth r is recheck recheck whether your paraphrased sentences bring original essence from the source paper that's very very important because after paraphrasing if you were uh, paraphrasing sentence doesn't bring original essence of the paper then it is a wrong paraphrasing so you have to be very careful about it then we'll see the uh, uh, compare you no know, based on the four or what are the exact strategies one is already told you use of synonym that synonym has uh, has to be used only for the non keyword especially for verbs adverbs and adjectives so you can identify synonyms for only these words not other things and you can convert from a noun to verb for example if it, there is a development you can you can try to uh, add as a develop from noun to adjective that is development to developmental from one category of noun to another category of noun for example science to scientist is a one is a common abstract noun another one is a person concerned noun so uh, uh, no from singular to plural vice versa you can do but all these things it's not a only you know uh, Uh, available strategies you have to be very careful that these things should not disturb the meaning the essence of the what you call original idea and another thing you can change the verb form for example from ing form to to infinitive form from simple to continuous active and very importantly you can write the entire sentence from a active voice to the passive voice the same way the active verb to the passive verb and personal to impersonal you can change these are the what you call changes you can make to bring your ideas a new you know paraphrasing the thing and you may reverse the order of which the information pre present that's already have told you that you can entirely restructure the order that may also will help you to paraphrase effectively see the essence is very simple without disturbing the original meaning you have to write the same thing in a new word that's what exactly paraphrasing if you apply all these strategies you will be able to effectively paraphrase and uh, nine steps to effective paraphrasing we'll see one by one quickly uh, first read the research paper several times 
the one reading two reading three reading will not be sufficient you must read numerous times so that you will understand the original ideas from the paper effectively if the poor reading may not, may, may not help you to understand the things properly so th that's why numerous reading of the original paper is very essential to paraphrase and set the original aside and write your paraphrase on a note card so that in the, the later part you can compare and check whether you are correct jot down a few words below your paraphrase to remind you later how you plan using this material because now you have paraphrased one particular uh, maybe uh, two or three sentence from one source but immediately you will not be able to use the paraphrase material in your research paper so that you need to make a note here now when you paraphrase in your uh, note, uh, notes then based on your note taking method you can take the particular paraphrased uh, sentences you can fit into the research paper where it is really needed and the another important thing you can mention the keyword and phrase to indicate the subject of your paraphrase because when you do do the entire uh, the para thesis not a thesis or a, a research paper when you read you could have paraphrased so many uh, sentences so then you need to know which sentence where you need to use so that if you use the keyword accordingly you can fuse you know you can fit in for, for example certain paraphrased uh, uh, sentences can be used in the introduction certain thing can be used in the conclusion certain thing can be used in the methodology part so you will be able to understand when you mention the keyword after paraphrasing within bracket you can mention intro, intro or abstract or keyword in that way so that when you write original uh, your research paper you can take that thing you can add that paraphrased sentences into the appropriate section and, and the next important thing compare the length of what you have written uh, to the original text because Paraphrasing is not a kind of condensing the material without uh, what you call losing the original essence you have to write. So don't try to uh, what you call write brief briefly what they have uh, pre pre presented. You have to write as they are but in the new words. So, so you are not allowed to condense anything. Next thing use quotation marks to identify any unique term or phraseology you have borrow, borrowed exactly from the source in case you want to use one particular line exactly as from the source you can take it but make sure that you are using quotation mark and when you paraphrase make sure that you are uh, under the paraphrasing material you mention uh, you record the source where you are taking from including the page number that's very essential because when you paraphrase so many lines from a paper you may forget where you have taken the original line so you have to be very careful about where you have taken so that the uh, mention mention of mention of mention of uh, that thing will really help you to uh, understand where you have taken from that and include an uh, in-text citation in the expected formatting that is APA or MLA etc and the la ninth important last thing is when you paraphrase you don't need to use quotation marks but please do not forget still you need to give the credit to the author and provide a citation properly and you add in the reference section clearly and uh, next see we exactly have to paraphrase with certain examples see s1 yes the sentence s1 yes uh, it's a original sentence s2 yes and s3 yes are the paraphr uh, paraphrased versions so look at there the owners of international scientific english should be international scientists not englishmen or americans the same thing can be paraphrased in international scientific english belongs to everyone in science Another example, international scientific English does not just belong to native English speakers but to the whole scientific community. And here you have to ci give a citation within the bracket with the, their name as well as the year of publication. And the next thing, we will see how not to paraphrase. Actually, this is the look at the only the S1, that's the original sentence. Bilateral vagotomy resulted in an increase in tidal volume. But depress depression in respiratory frequency such that total ventilation did not change. This is the original sentence. But look at the uh, wrongly paraphrased uh, uh, thing. That's our S2 and S3. It is unaccepted, unaccepted paraphrased version. Look at the first one. Grads showed that bilateral vagotomy resulted in an increase in the tidal volume but depression so simply they have added only the author name and year showed that that's it there is no change in anything third thing same thing they added the uh, grades 1982 showed the same thing but only they have changed the word resulted into produced 
and the frequency such that uh, into the so that so it's a very minimal change it's not a paraphrasing it's a complete copy so it is not accepted and this is what the originally accepted paraphrasing look at this the s5 is the accepted version uh, grads 1982 as usual showed that following bilateral vagotomy the snake's tidal volume increased but their respiratory frequency was lower as a result their total ventilation was unchanged this is what exactly acceptable version of the paraphrasing the remaining two are it, it was oh no actually they are not accepted version so you have to understand clearly and some other examples let me quickly go through so look at the first one here life spanned years of incredible change for women as they gained more rights than uh, ever before but when you paraphrase it see very simply you can you see lived through the exciting era of women's liberation the next example giraffe is like acacia leaves and hay and they can consume 75 pounds of food a day that can be paraphrased a giraffe can eat up to 75 pounds of acacia leaves and the hay daily the remaining things simply you can read probably uh, let me uh, if you want you can take a, a screenshot you can go ahead because all those examples will help you because if you know more examples that will help you look at this one all the red lettered uh, sentences are the original one all the block lettered sentences are the paraphrased version so please go through all these sentences it will help you to have a clear idea because to really get the paraphrase uh, to understand the paraphrasing uh, effectively you need to know a lot of example that's why i have given more examples in this presentation simply you can take up what you call a, a screenshot and that will help you to uh, work and understand the strategy what they have used to, to paraphrase and uh, Uh, look at the uh, let me explain only one thing the majority of consumers prefer imported cars it has been changed into foreign cars are preferred by most customers actually uh, the what are the changes here one is from direct uh, in uh, what you call active voice to the passive voice and the imported cars has been changed into foreign cars and uh, the majority of prefer as it the same thing but it has become the passive thing by the majority of consumers become the most consumers so if you analyze every sentence in this pattern you will understand exactly how to paraphrase effectively and these are the other examples and probably you can take a look at it this is the other examples thank you and uh, i think this will help you definitely to understand the paraphrase effectively in the next video let me talk about how to conduct uh, conduct and write a literature review till then bye bye these are the references i have used to to make this video thank you